Um, this one we're going to be showing you just how to make some some nice blowing grass um, something kind of similar to what you see right here um, where um, you know I'm, I'm going to show you a couple different effectors in which you can create this effect and um, pretty much just want to just give you a quick idea of how to get started in this so let's just get started with a new project here and just going to grab a plane I'm going to simulate some hair and let's just go ahead and change some things in here let's make our grass green let's make our specular green and let's make it ah, we'll leave the default thickness there we'll go to hair guides let's bring these down something like 50 let's give this a preview all right, we've got some grass. Play with the color later, but let's go into our material here and let's just turn on frizz. Let's turn the variation up on that. Um, I can't decide if it's frizz or kink I like better. So that's pretty good if you got the, the you know, you're going for more of a well kempt grass. You could also. Um, go with kink instead if you're going for something a little more wild looking um, but in this case it kind of almost looks like just little, little roots here um, don't like the green so let's bring the green down a little bit and let's add a light and let's just give this a shadow and see what we're looking like okay so I definitely want to go with frizz instead of kink we go all right I'll move this light up even further and kind of move it to the back and give it like a point location too far away there let's move it up all right and then we'll create a material and we're gonna have this be our ground so let's just find a nice dark kind of a darker green and we don't need any uh, reflection on it let's throw that on our plane all right, so it's starting to look pretty good. You know, most of what we're gonna do, want to do now is just gonna be in the lighting arena. Um, you know, that starts to look a lot better just by putting natural lighting in, and then of course at the roots, you know, you start adding in things like ambient occlusion, and you'll start seeing a much better result down here because right now we're not seeing anything that looks very good in the root level. But for the most part, you know, your grass, you're going to be looking at it from a top-down view anyway. So for right now, I'm, I'm okay with that result. Um, okay, so to animate this, I'm going to go to Simulate Particles. And um, I'm going to basically give this a turbulence. Now, first things first, we have to make sure that in our hair, we're going to get rid of gravity. I mean, you can play with that if you want leave it at negative one or something but if you leave it at where it was at it was just gonna fall over as soon as I play the animation so let's go ahead and click turbulence um, I had hair highlighted when I added it and I've already got a you know small animation going here um, that is kinda like your no wind low wind grass um, it's just sort of twisting in place allows you in the turbulence vector to you know up the scale on that up the strength you know if we, do if we double or quadruple the strength we're just going to get a lot more kind of like a swirling wind effect and if we up the scale we'll see a lot more uniformity so the scale is like you know the smaller the better for turbulence because you're now affecting grass more locally than you are affecting a whole patch of grass and it starts to look really fake so um, let's just give that a quick preview see what that looks like um, I'm gonna go to uh, output all frames let's let this render let's take a look in a second all right so we're back and here's my result um, you know we've got kind of just looking like a swirling wind blowing over grass um, so that's a good place to start with some of your animations. Um, you know, obviously changing some of the colors a little bit. 
But the other thing that we could do is, uh, if we wanted, we could create a system out of this where we basically are going to take a sphere and let's have it interact with our um, with our grass. So I'm going to start a uh, sphere somewhere up here, and basically uh, I'm going to make this. Character tagged or simulation tagged. I'm gonna make this a rigid body. I'm gonna make my plane a um, glider body. So if I just click play, it's gonna fall and kind of get blown around a little bit, hang out. Um, let's kind of drag this out a little bit, see what this ball does when it comes and lands. So it's gonna kind of drift around and affected by the turbulence but if I just look at one of these frames it's not doing anything in my grass um, but what we can do is we can actually go to the sphere and make this a uh, hair collider as well and what this is going to do is it's actually going to you'll notice right away these roots have been compressed around the ball so now we actually have this interaction going on here so that when the animation plays everywhere it goes it's going to look as if it's moving through a real field of grass so if you think of like you know this isn't a realistic golf ball animation by any stretch which I'll maybe I'll do in the next tutorial but you know I think about like a balloon or something getting blown around in the grass obviously we change the mass a little bit but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and render this out and show you what this looks like in, a, in an animation form. All right, so there is my animation, my golf ball, whatever it wants, my balloon, whatever, whatever we feel like is the appropriate scale, dropping in the grass, and you can see the grass moving out of the way. Um, so anyway, that's been a quick Cinema 4D tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.